Welcome to Pop Style Review. We're very excited to have our next guest. It's going to be one heck of a night. Yes, we are here with Elona, a philanthropist, entrepreneur, content creator, traveled all over the world. Welcome to Pop Style Review. Thank you for having me. So tell us about how Elona sort of evolved. Mm, so I. I come from a background of finance and I was basically working a full-time job here in New York City um, and I had no time to travel essentially because I was working very long hours but I was financially able to travel. I like booked a trip to Europe on a whim, I went to Paris for a long weekend, um, came back and I was like wow I could do this in three days. After that went to Bali, Hong Kong, Portugal, you name it. Um, I started writing about it and eventually a few large publications picked up on my work, on my itineraries, um, Business Insider, Forbes, Elite Daily, Independent Co. UK, many more. Um, I was perfect for the demographic of the readers, young professionals with no time but perhaps enough money to travel. They interviewed me, all of a sudden my audience grew overnight and then brands started reaching out, tour boards started reaching out, airlines started reaching out and, and they were like, we, we want you to market our product. Are there uh, hobbies that you enjoy doing while you're traveling, like dancing or trying new foods or anything like that? I, I'm, I'm very big on food. Um, so trying new food, street food, or like very country specific cuisine, I love that. Um, wine tasting, I, I love doing that here, so I, I sometimes actually specifically travel for wine. Um, From your lips to God's ears. <laughs> <laughs> um, but any anything local, like we, I took uh, Muay Thai classes in Thailand, um, I, I love water activities, so anything that's like country specific, I'm, I'm very open to virtually anything. Do you think that one day you would want to open your own tourism kind of operation, whether it's a hotel or something that's planted in one or several cities oh, I would the world. love to be in the hospitality industry in, in one way or another. Um, I definitely have many ideas of how I would structure my perfect hotel and I, I would love for it to be in a rather underprivileged country where uh, the people that work there, the locals, get to actually experience the property with their families throughout the year. Um, many ideas, but I'm uh, not sure how I will execute that yet. But tell us about your jewelry line. I was looking for a practical travel piece, um, and I couldn't really find anything that I liked on the market, so I decided to design it. Um, I designed it, and a few of my friends basically said, I think this could do well with your audience. Uh, so I found a factory in Bali and I had them produce it and I started selling it um, through my website and through my Instagram and it did very well with my audience. Um, so that's, that's also something that I'm constantly thinking of, constantly innovating, coming up with new designs and thinking of the best way to push it forward. But your, your whole story is quite incredible. Um, you're a cancer survivor. And it's, it's something that led you to, to many of the current projects you, you're working on. Um, and you also have a nonprofit, yes. uh, C1P53. Yes. Um, so tell us about your nonprofit. So um, I'm a childhood cancer survivor, and I, the way that I pay it forward um, is that I help underprivileged families who have children with various chronic illnesses. Um, so the idea behind my nonprofit is, you know, I could leverage my platform and my connections uh, to raise money. Let's say I raise five thousand dollars. If I donate five thousand dollars to an organization like the American Cancer Society, let's be real, probably won't move the needle. But if, if I if I give five thousand dollars to a single mom in Ukraine who doesn't have a job but has a kid with cancer, we could change her entire life. Aside from that, we do a massive toy drive, and by we, I mean I have a small team um, that helps me every year. So we do a massive toy drive, uh, we donate toys to uh, my alma mater, so to say, to NYU, to my hospital. 
um, and many other hospitals around the metro area. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, Thank you for having me. And we'll, we'll see you. Yeah. We'll be in, in a different country. Yeah. <laughs>